everyone, welcome to Season 3, Week 13 of the Los Altos Juice Frauds Team Builder Dynasty. And this week, we're playing the Fresno State Bulldogs. As you guys can remember from last season, Fresno State completely destroyed us. So we're hoping for a better result this year. And right off the bat, we get the ball to BJ Kelly, and BJ Kelly's taking this one all the way to the house. And after one play, we are up 7-0. Huge start for the Juice Frauds. Now Fresno State comes back, uh, the quarterback decides to scramble, he's got nice yardage, he shakes off a defender, gets additional 15 yards past midfield. Great run there by Watson. This time they get the ball to McGovern, McGovern squirts outside, gets another 15 yards. Now they give it to the running back, running back shakes off two defenders, almost breaks the third tackle. Just very tough running, and McGovern takes it this time. And he gets inside the 5 after picking up first down. And now third and goal, they give it to... Not sure who that is, but he gets a touchdown, diving into the end zone. So now our ensuing possession, it's tie 7-7. We got the ball to BJ Kelly again, but unfortunately he's dragged down to the 30-yard line before he can break into the big one. A couple of plays later, it's third and fourth. Cunningham shakes off a couple of defenders and gets just enough for the first down. Not sure what Willie's doing there. He was signaling a first down and a fourth down at the same time. But here we go, second and three is Cunningham again. Great power running there. And now a couple of plays later, it's third and goal. And Cunningham is stopped this time. So it brings up a fourth and goal. We're going to power it in. And unfortunately, I think Cunningham was hurt on the previous play, so we did not have Cunningham for that play. And that showed right there. So we were stopped on fourth down. A huge stop right there on the one-yard line. And on top of that, we were not able to prevent Fresno State from coming out of the end zone. So that was pretty much like a turnover. Big, big mistake there. And we lost the golden opportunity to go up seven, uh, go up seven points. It's a fumble! And this time we got it! Turner dives on it! Huge play, critical momentum swing. But unfortunately, they're doing a booth review. And after the review, Fresno State is going to retain possession, I think. It's really unclear from these replays whether his knee was down or not. Maybe we can get a view here. But usually, when they do a booth review, it's always bad news for me. And yup, it is bad news. They deemed it not a fumble, and Fresno State takes back over. Terrible. Now Watson decides to go deep for the end zone. He's got a man, and I think he's got one foot in bounds. Wow. So coming off that near fumble, they score on the immediate next play. Wow, this time we floated out to Freeman. Dangerous throw there, but Freeman was in good position to haul it in. Now Freeman is sacked. So it's second and 18. I think we got a man wide open deep. We do, but it's slightly misthrown. But it was a tough window to fit in, so bring up third and 18. And Freeman is slammed, almost fumbles the ball, but he got the ball out of his hand just at the last moment. But either way, we'd have to punt and give the ball back to Fresno State. And now Fresno State running back does a great job to get another huge first down. Now it's third and six. They give the handoff to Waller, and Waller is jammed up. It only gains three and short the first down. It's a huge sigh of relief there as we get the ball back without allowing Fresno State to do more damage. And now we're going deep. It's Sapp. And Chad Sapp's got this one. And he jukes around and gets tackled at the one-yard line. Great job by Sapp to not go all the way in. And now all we have to do is chew off some clock and go in. And this time Cunningham's got it. So we tie the game up at 14-14 just before halftime. And now Fresno State takes over at the beginning of the third quarter. And a dangerous throw, but for some reason Barnes is able to come up with it. And now another first down. 
Now, second intent to go with the screenplay, but very luckily we had it sniffed out. If we didn't make the tackle there, it would have been bad news for us. So now we bring up third and very long, so this is our chance to get off the field. Good protection. They go deep. It's a two-on-one situation. Should have been picked, but it's not. But we take over after a Fresno State punt. So now we got the ball. It's second and ten. Freeman has all day. Took too long. Guys weren't really that open. Now it's third and 18. Guys aren't really that open either. And this time, bad throw. That was a dangerous throw to the intermediate man. If there's a guy covering that closely on the short route, I should not go to the intermediate man. And that was a bad decision there. I thought I had it, but no. And this time they go for the screenplay, and it does work. Uh, just an extremely inopportune turnover there. In a very tight, in a very tight game against a very good opponent, you cannot make those kind of mistakes. Now they get to DJ Harper. DJ Harper's got good yardage. And it's time to give it to this guy with a really long name, and he has it inside the five. Now Watson scrambles, it looks like he's going to pitch, he does, oh my gosh, I was diving for the interception on the fumble, it didn't work, and Fresno State takes it in, so Fresno State is up 21-14, but luckily on the ensuing play, we got Chatsap, and Chatsap is wide open, and he uses the speed to take it all the way to the end zone. 21-21, an extremely tight game up to this point, and now it's time to give it to McGovern, nice catch by McGovern, 15 yard gain. Now 3rd and 1 after a couple plays. They fake the handoff and Waller's got plenty of running room. Oh my gosh, and he jukes one of our star linebackers. I think that was the star safety that he juked and he gets additional 10 yards. A few plays later, it's 3rd down again. And we almost tackled the guy, but we still tackle him, but it's 4th and 1. It could have been like 4th and 4, and because of that, Fresno State is able to go for it on 4th and 1. Whereas 4th and 4, they would have kicked the field goal. But luckily, we're able to stop Fresno State from picking up the first down. So, not getting that guy stopped a few yards short was actually a benefit to us because we were able to stop them on fourth, fourth down. I mean, obviously, we could not have predicted that, but still worked out either way. And now, on third and one, Cunningham's got insane amount of room. Wow, he almost broke it all the way. And the Bulldog is not happy about that. Now I think we got a man open, we got a man open, it's Kelly, BJ Kelly's tackle inside the five, and this is our chance to take the lead for the first time in this game. And we got it, it's Cunningham straight up the middle, so 28-21. And now on their ensuing possession, the quarterback is sacked, so it brings up a third and six, crucial third and six here, if we can stop them, but no we cannot. Great catch there by the receiver Keenan, and they get a first down to keep the drive going. Now first and ten, it's another nice catch. Wow, Dean, he bumps off three guys, it takes four guys to finally get him out of bounds. Now a couple plays later, it's third and nine. Watson looks to throw, he's got a man open, it's Porter, and he stumbles across the... Oh, he stumbles across the yellow line. Wow, just a disappointing play there. We almost had Fresno State stopped. And now this time to get to Porter. It's another first down. Now third and goal coming up. And this time they go with the option pitch, and the running back is going nowhere. He's stuffed well short of the line of scrimmage. Now fourth and goal from the 10-yard line. Watson looks to pass. He's got plenty of time. He's still got plenty of time. And it's a touchdown! But there's a flag? What? For some reason, there's some sort of illegal procedure or illegal touching going on? And it resulted in a turnover? I have absolutely no idea what that call was, but we'll take it. And wow, very close run there for Cunningham. It almost did not pick up the first down. But they gave it to him, and we were able to run out the clock. So I don't know what happened there. Some kind of illegal procedure, illegal touching, and instead of like being penalizing yards, Fresno State uh, turned the ball over on downs. Just crazy, crazy end to the game when I thought that Fresno State was going to tie it up, and that call by the official, I'm not even sure if that was even a good call, but that turned out to be the difference in the game, and we escape 
in our duel against Fresno State, and we go up now 2-1 and one all time against Fresno State, and more importantly, keeps our winning streak alive, and our winning streak is up to 8 games now. So overall, very tight game. Uh, only one turnover on our part, so very close game all together. Very tightly fought. Not a ton of offense, but the defense definitely uh, came up big there. I have no idea what happened, but we'll take it. Freeman had an okay day, but only nine completions. And look at that, we had nine completions of 14 runs by Cunningham. You can tell this is a slug it out kind of, grind it out kind of game. But we were able to come out on top. And now next week, we'll be taking on the Nevada Wolfpack. So it'll be another exciting game against a top Mountain West opponent.